last year, Tennessee broke a nine-year winless streak against the Tide, winning down at Legion Field, 41 to 14. And Tennessee has won the toss, elected to receive, and William Watts boots it. Terry Fair, the nation's leading punt returner, running it back out to the 23-yard line. So three and out, Larry Binion with a pretty good rush from Alabama. Binion gets it away. Chad Goss runs it back for about four yards. Ball squirted loose at the back end of that, but they're going to rule him down. Alabama's hoping to get off to a better start with Kitchens than the first series of plays. So the man who defended that pass, Fair, makes the catch at 20, at the 20. And out to the 30-yard line. Zach Copeland now is in the shotgun as the quarterback. He doubles as a receiver and quarterback. Here he is, Copeland. On third down and seven. And there are flags everywhere. Well, let's see the call. Offsides, defense. It'll be five yards, Timothy. It'll be third down. It'll be two yards shy of a first. Under center now, third and two. Flips it, Kent. Oh, let's see. I don't think he got it. And Binion's second punt of the day. There's Vaughn, sure-handed receiver. The take off from the 15. And twist it down at the 20. Hayden Stockton is the Alabama punter. That's Copeland returning it from the 33. Knocks heads at the 40. Second and six. Dyron Robinson hobbled off. Spencer Riley replaced him. Levine runs up the middle. First down. And all the way to the Alabama 41. Have joined the starting receiving core in the lineup. The blitz coming. Manning unloads. And he was looking for Andy McConnell. There's a flag. They throw the flag. The defensive guy, he has a right to play defense. The offensive man, he has a right, but you can't push off. That's what happened. Offensive pass interference. Be 15-yard penalty. Lost it down, be third down. He, he fits right into the great tradition of Alabama linebackers. Halfway through the first quarter, and Tennessee punting for the third time. Binion's kick. Well, it hit at the one. Was it saved? Oh, was that a high wire act by the Volunteers? Third and nine. Play action fake. Going back to the air instead. And picked off. It's Austin again making the play. Raymond Austin. Raymond Austin's second interception in two years of a kitchen pass. Sets up the Volunteers from the 32. Grant the 27 about five on that one Tennessee is trying to establish a running game here in this series third and two and Alabama stops him Ozell Powell it's a 41 yard field goal try Jeff Hall got enough leg but it's wide tremendous series by the Alabama defense this opening quarter with no points Riddle, out to the 31. First time Tennessee moved it inside the 50. They were backed up by a penalty, this time a missed field goal. Second and three. Riddle, there's a good tackle made by Raymond Austin. We saw him a moment ago on the bench with an ice pack. Alexander, Curtis that is, might be back for Alabama's next game against LSU. Kitchens gets away from the pressure. Now fires a wobbly ball down the field. It's intercepted. He's one for six with two passes intercepted here in the opening quarter. Tennessee from the 24. Graham side snapping a defender and getting out to the 33. Third down and four. Dan sacked on the blitz from Kelvin Sigler loss and Binion punts again this one will not be touched by Alabama Goss lets it die at the 25 Freddie Kitchens one of six with two being caught by the other side nice piece of running here by Riddle getting out into the open finally brought down by Parker 
each of them. Riddle again, breaking tackles, cutting back to the middle, and Leonard Little chases him down in the 33. And the wing position is disrupting the Tennessee defense. Third and three. Hurdling is Riddle, and he is driven back short of the first. No chance. Leonard Little got in there quickly. I thought that was a good call by Gene Stallings. He's had some kicking troubles. And Mark Levine alternating with Graham. And he gets free for about eight yards. But I hear from the uh, Tennessee sidelines, they will also have cigars at the ready should they win today, Jim. <laughs> All right, well, right now we're uh, playing to a scoreless game. Levine showing signs of breaking free. So cigar may not be the story at the Breeders' Cup, maybe will be, but that could be the story here after the game. For the winning team and Peyton Manning, pump play action, has Joey Kent, good catch. And finally brought down at the 38 by Jackson. Townsend becomes the third different punt returner for Bama today. Kenyon, no such luck near the goal line. That one flies into the end zone. Travis Smith into the backfield for Bama. Kitchens, good protection, man open. They'll have the first down. Out to the 40, it's Travis Smith. The punt to Terry Fair, the nation's leading punt returner. He averages 23 yards a return. The average helped by an 86-yard walk back for a score against UCLA. Fair catch at the 20. Volunteers begin the drive from their own 20. In on Manning, football free, Hurd has it. Inside of the five, Ruhm down at the three. From the left hash mark, it'll be a field goal try from Brian Cunningham. They alternate kickers, 23-yard try, and it's blocked. Tennessee got a hand on it. Another area where Alabama's having trouble in their kicking game in punt returning. You've got to be a good punt catcher before you become a good punt returner. Goss got away with a fumble on the first return of the game. This time out to the 46. They have a football program. They built it. They deserve respect. Play action. Kitchens. Man open. Makes the catch for about nine yards. There's an easy first. Riddle into the secondary. Riddle running inside the 20. And down at the 17. And their defense as well has been something special this year. But third and five deep in Tennessee territory. Kitchens, no chance. Tyrone Hines sacks him at the 20. Brian Cunningham will stay in as the field goal kicker. 36-yard try this time. Straight away, and good! First points of the game! With 19 seconds to go, first half. Well, and Phil Fulmer has said all along that the line is coming along, just not as quickly as they need to in order for them to make a national championship type run. Graham. And Tennessee will go to the locker room. Shut out. Shut out in the first half. Tennessee had 75 total yards. Wow! <laughs> Riddle, right up the middle for five. He had 88 yards rushing in the first half, now up to 93. Alvin Hall in his receiver, second and five. Riddle decides to go to the left. Picks up the first down. 154 he had against North Carolina State, 140 against Ole Miss, now 102 and looking for more against Tennessee. He's going to find more. Riddle, you started to see him now finding that groove in the second quarter. Also had a 28-game winning streak during Gene's early years at Alabama. Third, People forget that. Third and 11, Kitchens, man open, West at the 10, touchdown, Alabama! The 
Again, they did not play a team that was ranked coming into the game until Tennessee today. Second and seven. Ball in the air. Look out. It's picked off. Deshane Townsend. Out of bounds at the 15. Cunningham back out. His third attempt of the day. 25-yard try. Lance Tucker to hold. Cunningham drills it. 13-0 Alabama. Manning with four on the play clock. Takes the snap. Looks left side. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Catch is made. They give it to him. They say he got the foot in. He wanted to play wide receiver. So he ventured north to volunteer country. Levine down to the 38. That's Graham. Beg your pardon. Graham. Second and one. Manning's checking off. Here comes Myers, and Manning falls at the 50. Terry Fair, you see him back there in your midfield. Stockton got settled, and then the rush came. But boy, did he let one fly all the way back to the 36. And Fair showed signs of breaking free before going down at the 39. Then later on, many will see Georgia, Florida, or Syracuse, West Virginia. That's next weekend. Manning across the middle. Kent at the 47, a game of eight. Sam Pinner is the center in for Brent Gibson. Second down. Quickly, Kent in the open field. Look out, Joey Kent for the touchdown, Tennessee. Fifty-four yards for Tennessee's first points, and Hall's extra point, he missed it. That's a huge miss. But the extra point means a touchdown, and a PAT would not beat Alabama, but would take them into overtime. Flags flying west out to the 22, and Alabama could be looking at a starting field position at about the 10. And this is a combination that they like right there, the two tight ends side by side. Just beat the play clock. Kitchens sacked at the five. Jonathan Brown has a sack for the fifth straight game. Stockton got it away. Copeland's the return man at the 40. Down near the 35. Now the dead ball. Third and 11. A fumbled exchange, and Bama has it. Riddle. Out to the 27. Second and four. Riddle, that's the first down for Alabama. Take one game at a time, and if you win the ones you're supposed to, you're going to play for the national championship. Riddle. Look at him keep his balance. He's near 150 yards rushing. Riddle returns. Kitchen wanting to throw. Awkward pass in the area. A ball and a flag thrown. They're going to get the interference call from the 35 of Tennessee. Riddle outside with room. Oh, what a hit. What a tackle by Parker. Paul and Buchanan in his receivers. Second and six. Holding on to that football with two hands when he got into traffic is Riddle. Travis Smith, number 48, lined up as a fullback out of the eye. He caught a pass in the first half, third and three. And Riddle, I think he has it. Well, you hate to burn a timeout, but Freddie Kitchens made a great call. He saved himself five yards. Play action. Kitchens zips it. Look out! Look out! It's fair. Kitchens has an angle on him. Oh, 
one of the last blockers down there called for clipping. Second and five. Brent Gibson has come back at center for Penner. Receiver on the ground, Joey Kent. Had Townsend not fallen down, he may have had a shot at an interception. Tears on first down over to Nash. Now they're picking up steam, and a late hit, a late hit will move the football near the five. Graham, give it to him, touchdown, Tennessee. Stockton, he had heavy pressure last time. Copeland again is the return man, not Terry Fair, the nation leader. Great punt. Copeland, 33-yard line, down at the 37. Alabama last year was his big coming out game. He's in a position to win the game for Tennessee this year as well. This is a huge series for Tennessee. No way can Manning even get a thought of throwing that ball. Third and 17, they have not converted all day, and this time they must cover 17 yards to pick up the first. Manning lost it. Caught near the 50, Peerless Price for 20 yards. Arizona State, have they had a year, and are they right now playing as well as they're capable of? Third down and eight. Here comes the rush again, and Alabama will get the football back. Chad Goss is the return man. Clock running, five and a half to go. No pressure on the punter. Binion off the side of the foot. But it won't hurt Tennessee too much. Ball down at the 20. But you got to remember, he is 7-0 as a starter. That's the one redeeming quality. There's Riddle. Boy, that doesn't hurt you. Almost a 20-yard run. Give him 19. And... Patrick Happ has been the guy. Hey, Patrick Hay. First down, it's Riddle again. Near the 45, about six. Oh, this is close. I don't think he has it. Well, they marked it all the way back at the 47. Copeland back to return. 3.20 to go, clock still running. Oh, and you see, you see some of the guys from Tennessee not aware of where the football is, and you hold your breath if you're Philip Fulmer. Second and 12. Graham. Gaping hole. Graham breaks the tackle. Jay Graham, touchdown, Tennessee. 79 yards. Third and 10. Going long again. Vaughn is there. Vaughn makes the catch. Alabama has it near the Tennessee 20. Hate with the run. To the 16. Here we go. Fourth and four. Fourth down. Must get to the 12. To have any hope. Riddle. Still on his feet. Riddle. Where will they mark it? First down. They gave him the first down when he should have been stopped near the 20. Is it a day of destiny for the Crimson Tide? Fourth and 10, 39 seconds. Kitchens. Ball deflected. Stripped away, Tennessee football, volunteers will win. Tennessee could win out from this point on and have a chance at getting ultimately what they want so badly, the national championship. Tennessee will be heavily favored in its last five regular season games and in fact has not lost a game in November in the 90s. And that also has something to do with the fact Kentucky and Vanderbilt are always in that equation in November, but they'll be favored the rest of the way. They could go 10 and 1. And if someone like Colorado beats Nebraska, it could be Florida and Tennessee in the Sugar Bowl. Absolutely could happen. What an effort by both teams. 
Philip Fulmer, Gene Stallings both had their clubs ready to play. It was a great college football game. This was college football SEC style through the year.